day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Watch you eyes. And I think we need to answer that. Yeah. While we're in agreement, it is the word. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Uh, Woo! It's, it's a wonderful thing because that's what Jesus fought Woo! Satan with in, in the desert after his temptation. It is written. The word of God. He <laughs> came after him, he hit him with the word. Again. Hmm. Woo! So I think, bro, I, I, that just took me to that whole level right there. Yeah. <laughs> it really does. It, it, uh, it puts everything in perspective. Woo! And the, the, like, like me and Elder, we, we were having a discussion the other day. Woo! And all we need to do is focus on the spiritual realm. As long as we're fighting in that realm, yes. we should see signs follow. Yep. Because yep. as soon as we bring it into this this physical realm and we're Woo. trying to fight a physical battle, it's not going to it's not going to work because the weapons of our warfare not carnal. Come on, come on. And that's why he was telling to tell me is that using that scenario with the centurion and using the part I just said is being weapons qualified. Amen, man. All of us, the Bible even said, study to show yourself approved. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We got a lot of work to do. <laughs> we got a lot of work to do, man. <laughs> Can you imagine training our troops? <laughs> he is telling people, you got to stay in the authority. And you gotta study the word so you can be equipped to do the work of the ministry, huh? Well, if you're discipling somebody to Christ, then you gotta teach them the same thing. Oh man, well, you gotta disciple them. You yeah. know what the discipling is? Getting them to understand Use that word that they have to get into that. They gotta word. get in the word, yeah. Because if they don't get into it, they're not going to actually get the revelation that's needed to produce what God wants. Them. And the, not that's one the job. difference. Not one because bad. every time you're in the military, uh -huh. you have to go to that shoot range. Come on, brother. Not your supervisor. Oh, come on. Come you on. have to you have to do the shooting. You, you have to learn Woo. how to break that weapon down, how to load it, Woo. how to pull that trigger, how to wait on your 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 resting breath. Come on. To, to pull that trigger. Come on. How to aim down the sight. Come on. You know, it's it's you know the figure eight that you naturally have Come when on. you're shooting at that target. You got to know all that. Come on, brother. And 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 the average person, you know, just doesn't know that. They don't even, know that even, even people who hunt. Come on. They're taught that. Come on now. Come on. So it's 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 all about uh the training. It's right. the training. In other words, all of us have to be word qualified. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Elder. You, I mean, That's you, it. Question. That was the right question. That's yeah. it. What is and, what about what, how to use the weapon? What is our weapon? It's the word of God. The word of God. The word of Jesus said, My word is spirit. Jesus said, My word is spirit. And it is their life. <laughs> what's, that, what's that other scripture said? That word cuts through the bones and marrow. Yep. Uh, uh, able to divide, man, divide the divide the soul, wow, man. soul and the spirit. Wow, man, that, that's something right there. Wow. That, that, that says a lot to me. That's sharp because the soul and the Woo. spirit they're, they're so they're so intertwined. Woo. But that that word divides them. The bone and the marrow, soul and spirit, discerning the intents of the heart. <laughs> and you know why it divides it? Because one third Woo. of us is wall to wall, Woo. create world creating, raising from the dead Woo. power. Come on now, one third that's been divided. That word has divided it. That's real. That's real. Wow. The soul and the spirit has been divided by the word. Has been. Come on now. <laughs> Ain't that something? <laughs> and now we're trying to join the soul and the spirit. Come on now. I mean, man, it's, it's, it's he's sitting uh, in front of us. And that's why he even used the centurion. 
because he's here, you're in a warfare. And yeah. the kingdom suffers violence, and the violence taken by force. Elder Johnson just said, how do we fight it? We got to fight it with the weapon. And the spirit says, speak the word only. Yeah, man, I'm going to have to meditate on this scripture for Give me a week on this. Woo! I need to chew on this because there's so much in there. Jimmy, Jimmy Love. So here's my thing. What about, okay, now I know Black Lives Matter is very popular and maybe even effective. How you bring that up? Where scripture do I go to to find that? You know, yeah, how did that line up with you? You see what I'm saying? And I know that might be being a little bit, uh, you know, maybe over the top with it, but God is not obligated to buy any word other than his own. No. And, uh, and, and, unless somebody is 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 there's a scripture that says the wicked shall not the, the seed of the wicked shall not inherit if it's a lie then we can look at the rest of the book and begin to become suspect because it's all a part of the same bible god is obligated to keep his word to, to be to, to keep his word the integrity of his word to maintain the integrity of his word so when he tells us something we can rely on it 100 percent it doesn't matter what the numbers are it doesn't matter what the opposition looks like if god be for you who can be against you, can be against you. and i think one of the greatest testimonies a testament testimonies is oh, that come on, come if you got getting shot in the back seven times at point blank, yeah. you're living that's the hand of god i don't know if the god was a believer or not but nobody walks away from that in the natural god has to be with a person and i think what he's showing us that let my friend sends all these little dog whistles out to his group. He's showing us if you just have faith in me and do it my way, the battle's already won. The battle is won. The battle is won. Yeah. Y'all, I yeah. think really that God is calling. Y'all gotta forgive me because I know if, 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 if my friend was back in night, he'd probably take issue with this. I truly believe that God is calling black men to lead the world into his presence. I think we've got to take it forefront. I think it's our time. Of course. Of course. And as you were saying earlier, the Bible says that God hastens to perform his word. I, I, I like what you said. He, God has no obligation to go out there and support, uphold, and bring about what you say. He hastens to perform his word, not yours. His will. Yeah, his absolutely. Will. Amen. My but favorite. you know what? Mankind is becoming so corrupt, though, Pastor. I think a lot of parallel in it is in it because, you know, just like when the world was destroyed the first time, the reasons why it was destroyed and the kind of stuff that was going on, Jesus said in Matthew 24 that it's going to be the same way as his second coming. So for the same reason it's going to, I believe it's going to be destroyed again, I believe, in my opinion, it's going to be the same exact reasons it was destroyed the first time. Wow. Wow. It's a parallelism. I, I just believe it. Yeah, well, I mean, when you look throughout history, it's just this big cycle. It just keeps yeah. going around and around and around, and it gets worse every time. Yes, sir. Every every cycle, it just gets worse, and it's like the the, the separation from God is great each right. time. And you, know, and you know what scares me? He say, when you sow to the wind, what he say, you reap, Elder? The whirlwind. The whirlwind. And I mean, my God, that tells me, man, you just so you saw a, a small fraction, and you go get back a tornado. That I mean, that's just the way life is. Isn't that that's something? Good. Yeah. We, 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 there has been a tremendous move away from God in the United States of America, and I think that gives credence to the conversation that we get from the Republican Party sometimes, and why people vacillate back and forth to whether they're gonna vote for them or not. But the church has to take, I think, God's position. The church is obligated to stake the Lord's position on all matters and then let the chips kind of fall where it may because we know at the end of the day his word is going to stand anyway. Right. Period. But that's why Period. I said, that's why I said speak yeah. the word only. Yep. Speak the word. And that's that's our part. And we're going to be hated. I mean, if you go out there, I mean, honestly speaking, if you imagine not stepping out to one of those Black Lives Matter uh, rallies and some telling, well, you need to love your enemies. You need to bless them that curse you. You pray for them that despite me, you, you and persecute you. But that is what Jesus of Nazareth did. When he came preaching the kingdom, he was telling them to love the Romans. Absolutely. Yeah. You start you start speaking against homosexuality, and, and they're gonna hate you. After a while, and then homosexuality now they got they got laws on the books right now that's gonna make pedophilia make pedophilia lawful. Uh, you know. I, I mean, 
Go ahead, Jim. Yeah, no, go ahead. That's all I want to say. I, I just want to say this, that it is if you speak the word only, meaning speak the full gospel, preach it. And then just focus on that. I think that's where you'll make your impact in the world, no matter what. Whether they like it or not, the thoughts in the world going to hate you. Yeah, you know, yeah. the, the, the God of this world ain't going to care about what you're doing. That's, yeah, that's the litmus test if, if they hate you. <laughs> that's what you know you, yeah. you're doing. Yeah. That is yeah. your issue with the world is enmity and God. <laughs> you concern yourself with people, there are too many people in the world love you. We might be doing something wrong. That's true. Yeah, well, really. Well I, well, I think that's the only time you're going to have the support uh, 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 of God behind you is yeah. when you're speaking the word. And I ain't talking about that watered down word. I ain't talking about what you're no. saying no, that you word. think is safe safe to say it in this environment right. it's the bible but i can't really say it because i'm offended folks so let me try to tap dance around it i don't think he's going to endorse that i really don't think he's into that crap i think he wants you to be true to the word true and speak word. it like he speak it like he spoke it come and on. then he'll he'll hasten to perform it come on brother i think mm -hmm. i agree with that and uh elder you need to finish up the uh the scripture here because this talks about what you just said a few seconds ago i think uh, look at this here. I got it. Okay. Go ahead. Read. Start at seven. Do you look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts to himself that he is Christ, let him of himself think this again, that as he is Christ, even so are we Christ. For though I should boast somewhat more of our authority, which of the Lord has given us for edification Edip and not for your destruction. Yes, sir. Not be ashamed uh -huh. that I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letter. Come on. For this letter, say they, are white. For his letters, say they, are weighty and powerful. Uh -huh. But if all the appearance is weak and the speech contemptible. Uh -huh. Let such a one think this, that such as we are in word by letter, when we are absent, such will we be also indeed when we are present. Yes, sir. But we dare not make ourselves a number uh -huh. or compare ourselves with someone that commends themselves. Uh -huh. But they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves uh -huh. are not wise. Are not wise. Yeah. Man, yeah. That covers a lot. Go ahead, brother Addison. I'll take the slide off unless you want to use that to, to, to talk. No, no, no. I was, I was just agreeing because that's what a lot of of the church is doing. They're comparing themselves Among against themselves. one another. Come on now. You know? And uh and they're trying to achieve the status uh -huh. of one another. Come you on. know, I need a mega church. Uh-huh. For what? For what? <laughs> what? You know, I wanna I wanna be able to to <laughs> to uh speak uh -huh. like such and such. For uh -huh. what? Just speak what's in your heart. Word on. Hopefully, it's the word of God. Yes, sir. Right, sir. And he mm -hmm. said, "Look at the outward appearance." Yeah. Those are the factors. So when we start talking, white brothers, black brothers, white lives, black lives, we're looking at the outward appearance. It's the inward appearance that matters. Let me, let me ask you. Go ahead, brother. Make a distinction. If I mean make it make a comment, not necessarily a distinction. In the world system. I think those are appropriate because when you are dealing with the world system, you're going to see some manifestations that are along certain lines. Yes, sir. Who were slaves in, in America? Blacks were slaves in America. Who conquered the United States of America? Whites conquered the United States of America. Who got wiped out? The Native Americans got wiped out. That's legit. That literally happened. That's history. That's man's history. When we come into the kingdom is when who says, there is neither Jew, not Gentile, born, nor free, the male, nor female, but that's in Christ. When we come into the kingdom, we can dispel all the demographics. We can get rid of that because Christ sees us as a, a, a soul. Exactly. You know? but, right. but as we are looking outside of Christ, I mean, when people are not yet joined the kingdom of God, you're going to see certain manifestations. So that's why I think it's so important that we get them in the kingdom. Right. Because they're going to take on those distinct characteristics and they're going to act in accordance with that. Yeah. Our histories are different in the United States of America. If you're a black man in America, your history is most probably a lot different than if you were born a white man in America, you know, because the society is going to treat you differently. 
But once you come into Christ, if you maintain those distinctions and that behavior towards your brother, then there's something wrong with you. Right. Yeah. And that, and that.